and welcome to Adventurous Hours. I am Vic and we are today here in a small town of Eltville along the Rhine River. It's a famous uh, town for two things. Number one for its wine, of course we're in the wine region, and also for the roses. That's why it's called the Rose Town. Let's have a look. So see ya. Either way? Okay. So this is a, a very old town and you can see at once those half timbered houses. You can see how low they are. That's really typical in the Middle Ages. People were shorter back then than they are now. So you can see me, I can reach already the top of the door. And you see some leftover of the castle. And the famous Rhine River. A lot of roses. Roses are considered as the queen of all flowers. Many different kind of roses, different colors, different sizes, and some smell terrific. Here at the back you see the MM, that is Matthäus Müller, and that is a factory for champagne. As you can see here, this tower was built in 1332. Long time ago, 1332. And that was built during the time of uh, the Black Death. The Black Death is the bubonic plague, which was brought by the fleas and the fleas were brought by the rats. And the rats came from East Asia, from China. And that's how three quarters of the population in Europe died. Three quarters of the bubonic plague. And uh, they built these ramparts in order to protect this village against the plague. But of course it didn't help. So here we are at the Rhine River and this is the biggest river in Germany and the widest. Here across it's only an island so it continues on the other side. But the Rhine is the biggest river in Germany that's why they call it Vater Rhine, the Father Rhine. And here you have some free books, you can exchange your old books to new books. If you don't want to read any more of your books, look for another one and put yours back. And there you go, people exchange the books. Here you can see the Matthäus Müller, beautiful garden. I've never been inside, hopefully one time I can go. And you can see it says Villa GH von Nunn. And Nunn is a family that has many companies, many factories, for making champagne. One of them called also Mum. So now we're going to see the outsides of the Gutenberg Tower. I'll post a picture so you can see how it looks like because at the moment it's being renovated. Why it's called the Gutenberg Tower? Because Gutenberg used to live here. Gutenberg was named the man of the millennium in the year 2000. So for the millennium between 1000 and 2000, Gutenberg is named the man of the millennium. Why that? because he invented the mobile press. Now, he didn't invent the press itself, those were the Chinese, but he invented the mobile press in which every letter was separated and you can form text. And through this, people were able to write books and only the churches and the cloisters had the opportunity to read the Bible. 
so the people didn't know how to read and write and especially the knowledge wasn't able to be spread out but through Gutenberg finally books were able to be printed out in a much faster way and in many copies and that's how through him finally knowledge was able to be spread out and everybody had a chance to get to that knowledge and they printed books with everything about science and all kinds of other things the man of the millennium he worked though in Mainz we'll go the next time and you'll see the place where he was printing books once again here the Rhine River all the way to the bottom is uh, down there to the end that's Wiesbaden here across is your villa for rich man on the island in front of us you can see a very very old press that's how they pressed before the grapes to get the grape juice and then make wine out of it let's go inside As you can see, this was built in the year 1329, Middle Ages. All this what you can see are all roses, different kind of roses. We have hanging roses, tall roses, short roses, different kind of colors, different sizes. Roses that go up the wall. Too bad it's not at the moment in full bloom. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna walk now up these stairs going towards the Gutenberg Tower. Here you can see those kind of holes, typical for every castle, and they are meant for the guides so they can observe. And they put their guns, the rifles, and they shoot. And because it's a very small hole, the chance for them to get shot is very small. Passageway with all those walls where all the guards used to stand and to protect. And up there you have again more roses. Old rose. Romanza rose. There's a crawling rose. And to the old town. So we can see all those half timbered houses. And Cobblestone streets. Here we go. House built in 1365. All old house. So we can see flowers in these stone containers. This is sandstone, red sandstone. 
very typical here. Very small streets. As you can see, it's not flat. It's going down this side and going down this side for a purpose, so that if it rains, the water will come out on the sides. Not only the water, but in the Middle Ages, they had no bathrooms, so they used to use uh, the chamber pots, and you throw everything was inside the chamber pots, outside of the window, and down here. So it used to stink a lot. Built in 1434. It's a very nice part. And here you can see again the beautiful old medieval houses. Look at that. This is really nice. Really, really nice. Not even nicer in a Wartenburg. one of the, the most beautiful corners. An old press, the wine. Oh, it's a restaurant over there. It's like you're back in the Middle Ages. And those uh, half timbered houses have also decorations, you see? Something long forgotten. What comes out of the basket? Vine with its grapes. Roses and half timbered houses. It is nice to see a half timbered house being renovated. And you can see the wooden planks and then put in a way so it's gonna hold. In between it was straw and mud. Now to renovate because straw and mud doesn't hold forever, they have put uh, stones, in this case bricks. And inside you can see also all those planks. Sixteenth century. This house here was built in uh, the 16th century and it was a public bathhouse. In those days, people didn't have a bathroom, they didn't have any way to take a shower or a bath, so you had a public place to take a bath. Even here, this house is also a half timbered house. You cannot see from the outside, but there's a crack over there and you can see those planks and those bricks. It's a half timbered house as well. Has been renovated. It looks like that. The duck fountain. So this was a very quick outing here in El Twille, small town, middle-aged town, famous for its wine, but especially for the roses, and because the famous Gutenberg inventor of the mobile press was living here. We hope you enjoyed this small quick tour. Hope to see you again in the next video. Take care of yourself. And until then, don't forget to subscribe now to Adventures Hours. Bye. Rami Salamat po. See you next time. Dito sa Adventures Hours. Bye.